Well, we're not positive who the most famous person ever to come out of Ralph, Alabama is, but we have a pretty good idea. Lily Leatherwood left Ralph to accept a track scholarship here at the University of Alabama. That move changed her life forever. In tonight's Spirit of Alabama report, Mike Royer has more on the accomplishments of one of the latest inductees into the Alabama Sports Hall of Fame. After 27 years as an officer with the Tuscaloosa Police Department, Lily Leatherwood retired at the end of the year. During her career, she took every opportunity she had to encourage young people, no matter their circumstances. And I, and I tell kids, it doesn't matter. You can accomplish anything. You can get anything, big or small, it doesn't matter. You can do it. And I'm your proof of that. Lily was raised with five brothers and a sister, but something about Lily stood out. Speed. And of course, I would always run very quickly and basically beat everyone in the class. And people would always tell me, oh gosh, she can run. But I don't think I really realized myself until I got to the university and receiving that scholarship and being able to compete on that high level that I really realized I had what it took. Lily had what it took all right. As a freshman, she was faster than most, and she qualified for the 1984 Olympic Games in Los Angeles as a member of the 4x400 relay team. That was 36 years ago. I actually, sometimes it seems like it was just yesterday. Nearly 80,000 spectators were crammed into the LA Coliseum the day of the race. Lily would run the first 400 meter leg of that race. And myself, even on the block, I was like, okay, I trained for this, I'm ready for this. So I was just kind of, all oh, that was going through my mind, but like I said, just try to make it perfect and make it right, and, and, I, and it went obviously great. Lily Leatherwood has great memories of running on this track here at the University of Alabama, but just as vivid in her memory is being in the starting blocks at the Los Angeles Coliseum at the 1984 Olympics. And when that starting gun went off, Lily Leatherwood from Ralph, Alabama ran gold medal fast. When, um, when I was out there, and I was actually in lane eight, and you know, for as an athlete, you think that's probably the hardest lane to be in because you would always like to kind of be able to see somebody. Yeah. And you, you know, my mind was, okay, I know I have to get out because I, I shouldn't be able to see, any, see anyone because if I see anybody, that means they are basically caught up with me. So that was my mind. I was just concentrating on getting out, uh, getting out, have a great start, and just running and give it as give it everything that I had because I knew that was that moment and I had you know, teammates, other teammates depending on me. Lily and her teammates set a new Olympic record in the event, part of the memories that for her will last forever. I think that is the moment that it really truly hit home, realizing what I did for, for our country, for Tuscaloosa. You know, when I got on that stadium with the four of us and and receive that medal, and then just to hear our national anthem being played. I mean, I guess it gives you kind of chills to think about it now, but just a great experience, great experience. I was there, there last for a lifetime, and as you said, it seemed like yesterday because I still get chills and I, when I talk about it even, even today. I got chills just listening. Hopefully if I made a difference in somebody's life, and uh, that made it worthwhile to me. And so that's what I want to continue to do, even though I'm retired, but I want to continue to be able to reach out in the community and help anyone I can. Lily Leatherwood, don't ever change, and thank you for the thrills. That's the Spirit of Alabama, Mike Royer, WVUA 23 News. A great lady, and Lily Leatherwood retired from the Tuscaloosa Police Department at the end of the year. And it might be a bit overdue, but Lily will be a member of the 2021 class that will be inducted into the Alabama Sports Hall of Fame in May.